I've included this final exam question, and I want to run through this as an example of damping, damping in harmonic motion. So this question is saying, if we have a 50 gram plastic bag full of 500 grams of ice, and it's hung from a vertical spring, which is that, and the bag is right here with the ice, then if it oscillates at a maximum amplitude when shaken at a frequency of 3 hertz, what is the spring constant? And after a while, if all the ice melts, um, if the bag containing the water is released from the unstretched position, the amplitude of the resulting oscillation is observed to decrease by one-tenth over three cycles. And we have to find the damping constant for that. And then find the equilibrium position of the bag of water relative to the initial unstretched position. So first off, we, have, we know that we have 50 grams, 50 grams plus 500 grams, and that is 0 0.05 kilograms plus 0 0.5 kilograms. And so we know that the mass, or the mass over here, the mass equals 0 0.55 kilograms. And since they gave us the frequency, is 3 hertz, we know that frequency equals 3 hertz, which means that the period is 1 over frequency, and so that equals 1 third of a second. Okay, so we need to find the spring constant, which is k. And so spring constant, find spring constant k. Okay, so what we can do to find the spring constant is find the angular freak or angular velocity, omega. And since that equals 2 pi frequency, and it also equals the square root of k over m, and since we know the mass, then we can solve for k. So first, if we find the value, which is 2 pi frequency, then that becomes 2 pi times 3, which equals 6 pi, which equals 18.8496. Now, since we're trying to solve for k over m, we should square both sides. So what we do is we take omega squared equals k over m, and we know mass, so this simplifies to omega squared equals k over 0 0.55 kilograms, and plugging in the value for omega squared, and if we, if we square this, we get 300, 55.306, and we want to, yeah, so that equals k divided by 0 0.55 kilograms. Okay, so we take this and we multiply it by 0 0.55, and that gives us k. So it becomes... K, and so then K equals 195.418. So we've solved for the spring constant K. We know that K is 195.418. So the next part of the question is, if the bag, well, I'll bring this a bit more. So what is the spring constant? We found the spring constant. After a while, if all the ice melts, okay, so then if the bag containing water is released from the unstressed position and the amplitude, the resulting amplitude is observed to decrease to one-tenth of its original value over three cycles. Well, we know each cycle is the period. So this is saying that the new amplitude is equal to well, the new amplitude is one-tenth, so one-tenth of A is equal to the amplitude of the old one times E, this is the formula, E to the negative B times
times, and since this is three cycles, what we're doing is three times t, or three times the period. So we go times three t. And this is all divided by two times the mass. So what this gives us is we can use any value of a that we want, as long as the ratio is 1, 10, 1 over 10 to 1. So what we do, simplify this, we go 1 over 10 equals, and we just replace it with 1, right? What's 1 tenth of 1 is 1 10. 1 over 10. So that equals e to the negative b. And we're trying to solve for the um, spring constant b. And now, look what happens with the 3t. Because t equals the period, and the period was 1 over 3 seconds, then it becomes 3 over 3 seconds, so then it's just b times 1. We don't even really need to put it in there. And now, 2 times the mass. So if, it, or if our mass was 0 0.55 kilograms, then 2 times the mass is 0, no, sorry, Oops. times, it's 1.1 kilograms. So we divide that by 1.1. And I am just going to take that 1 out because we don't need it. OK. Oops. OK. So, whoops. I have to try and find what I just wrote. Whoops. OK, zoom in. How did that happen? OK, back to this. OK, so since we're trying to solve for the b, we take the natural log of 1 over 10. So we go natural log of 1 over 10. And that gets rid of this e here. So then we're left with negative b divided by 1.1. So to solve for b, we just take the natural log of 1 over 10 times 1.1, and of course this is just bringing this over, we're multiplying it, and this equals negative b. Now, the natural log of 1 over 10 is a negative number, so we're solving for the positive value of b. So, what this gives us is b equals, if you solve this with your calculator, of course, equals 2.533 and since B is measured in kilograms per second, or you could do it in newton meters. It's just an impulse. So now that we found the spring constant, the next part of the question is, what is the equilibrium position of the bag of water relative to the initial unstretched position? So what this is asking is that if we had the equilibrium position without the bag, where would the spring be? Maybe the spring would come up to, I'll just draw another spring beside it. But if it was without the bag, Maybe the equilibrium position would be right here. And it's asking for what is this displacement when we attach a weight to the bag. So at the equilibrium position, the spring constant times the displacement, well, the equilibrium position, you could say, I guess, is equal to the mass times gravity. Now, we're trying to solve for the value of x the change in displacement of when we add the mass and gravity. So what we do is x equals mg, and we bring the, the uh, k over, divided by k. So what this gives us is our mass is, uh, no, sorry, that was two times the mass. Our mass is 0 0.55 kilograms. We're times again by gravity, which in this case will be 9.81 meters a second squared. And we're dividing that by our value of k that we found earlier, 195.418. So when we add the bag of water, I mean the, the you know the stretch, the spring position, if you solve for this with your calculator, you'll find that x equals 0 
meters. And so this covers this entire question. We found the spring constant. We found using, you know, using the spring, we found the spring constant using the frequency and the mass. And we've calculated the change in amplitude to solve for the uh, damping constant. And we found the equilibrium position of the bag relative to the initial.